Hello everyone, welcome back to Laddering with yours truly, Baz. How we doing, how we doing? And as usual, and actually let me back up here, let me show you how noob I am at Terran. Watch this, this is actually quite funny. Alright, game starts, and you know, pretty normal. And there we go, I'm going to load all my SCVs into my command center there, just because just they, they want to, you know, retire early and whatnot. So, Alright, uh, my opponent is going to be Mippin. Uh, playing as Protoss in the upper right hand corner. We are corner. We are on we are on Zelnaga Caverns. I am yours truly, Basil or Baz for short. Because some people pronounce my name Basil, which it's not spelled like the spice or anything else. So yeah. Stupid player camera thing. Alright, um so last game I recorded in the incorrect resolution. Hopefully they didn't watch with it too much. This game I am recording in the correct resolution, so go me. Uh, Supply Depot just now coming out. Not sure why I put it there. Usually I should put it like right here. That would be the appropriate place to put it. Uh, do have a early scout, which is normal for Protoss because they're able to warp units very, very quickly. And saving those Chrono Boosts uh, for when once the pylon does spawn. That's actually a very, very smart Protoss Protoss strategy there. Always don't don't use your Chrono Boost as soon as it's up. Wait till your first pylon comes down so you don't supply block yourself. So um, going to be scouting and we. Have we meet in the middle there. Uh, sh barracks should be going up pretty soon. Yep, Barracks going up right now. Uh, this probe, I actually got a little worried about him because I wasn't sure if he was going to uh, proxy pylon, proxy gateway, or proxy cannon or whatnot. So uh, I kind of was kind of leery. I take all my guys off the mineral line, which was retarded. Not sure why I did that. I'm an idiot. Oh well, it happens. Uh, I, I really wasn't playing my best in these first couple beginning games, first five or so. Uh, been I've been kind of kind of rusty a little bit. Uh, I haven't played a lot of StarCraft too lately, just just because of the fact that uh, life's just been kind of crazy. But uh, I've been keeping up uh, playing at least three or four games a week. And once season two hit, I'm like, okay, I need to buckle down and uh, start to make a lot of stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me, let me grab some coffee here. Oh, that's better. Okay. Uh, second supply be deep. <laughs> Woohoo! Second supply depot coming up, coming down. Uh, Zealot being warped in. Did he use that Chrono Boost? Uh, no, he actually. Wow. Um, Mippin, if you're you're not actually watching this, no one ever watches my videos because I'm not popular yet. And I'll get there. Um, as a Protoss player, you really need to use your Chrono Boost. Do unless you're saving it. Your it's just unless you're saving it for. Chrono boosting a mothership out. You should be chrono boosting units out uh, left and right. Uh, gas, gas. As soon as your gateway is done, then go into core. Uh, the reason being is you want enough gas to actually be able to research your core. Um, so his timing was a little bit off. He actually could have had enough gas uh, before his core actually went up. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, another barracks going down for me. Uh, two more warp gates are coming in so we're looking for a classic mm, four gate from a Protoss player which is actually a very very strong strategy against a Terran player like myself who's complete ass like I am terrible ter Terran like you guys are probably going face palm why are you doing random if you suck at one race um, in all honesty it's helped me cast a lot better and it's helped me learn races counters and reactions a little bit faster I as you can tell I'm still being a noob and not training any Marines um, Reactor going down, second reactor going down. Uh, three Marines are going to kind of scout around here just to make sure he's not proxying or anything. Honestly, uh, this Protoss player could um, use the Chrono Boost more and Chrono Boost these units out because he still has 83 energy and he could use the Chrono Boost for the rest of the units that come out. And I understand that he's, he wanted to save, but uh, logically he actually has enough energy to use Chrono Boost more on, on more than one thing. Um, looking at his probe count, uh, definitely need a lot more probes. Uh, probe saturation is a little off, but for a 4-gate, uh, it's not bad. Uh, he actually could be adding a lot more units in the mix. So, uh, more Marines coming out. Uh, reactor coming, the tech, excuse me, tech lag coming down, just in case we get Stalkers. Uh, Marauders a, are Stalkers counter. Marauders actually do uh, quite a bit of damage to Stalker. Uh, stalkers are a little bit more durable than a Marauder, in my opinion, because they have the shields. And they also do... Uh, extra 14 armor uh, damage they don't do extra, excuse me they uh, do more damage to armor units and whatnot. so um, factory going down um, in all honesty if the Protoss 
has been attacked by now, you should assume he's either foregating or uh, fast expanding or attacking very, very quickly. Um, I actually should have done another scan with the uh, the energy I have on my command center, but unfortunately I don't do that because I'm a noob. And again, horrible Terran player here. So uh, he should actually be sending a probe with his... There we go, there's my command sweep right there. And uh, looking at the... Excuse me. Looking at the player cam, I do I spot this. Um, he does. He only knows that I have two barracks semi on the way, so he's just kind of guessing what's actually going to happen. And this army, these four stalkers, could easily take out this right here easily. Uh, got siege on the way. Uh, tank should be coming up soon. Don't have enough gas for it, unfortunately. And I, I, I make the mistake of making too many buildings when I'm a Terran player. I don't know why I play Terran like I play. I play the Sims. But this force right here is very formidable and can easily take out these units quickly. Forgate is a very, very strong strategy. Um, the only thing that Protoss player did wrong was not make his gas before the, uh, or right after the gateway before the core, and he did not bring a uh, probe with him to set up a pylon to uh, continue to cross. So this game is pretty much over again. And yeah, obviously I suck at Terran. So we'll see you guys uh, on next ladder game, and hope you guys are enjoying the long series. I will be casting every game I play on the ladder, so lots of videos to come. See ya.